Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Today we're testing out the uh, Zontes M125. It is a 125cc scooter, competitively priced at around 4,000 euro on the street, uh, with a very good, uh, equipped very well with all the ne necessities. Basically, we have ABS, we have dual channel ABS, we have TPMS, tire pressure monitoring system. I think one thing which is missing uh, from being totally equipped is the traction control, which I believe it does not have. Other than that, very nice lighting. We actually have backlit controls on the handlebar, so that's also a plus. I will put uh, the technical specs on the screen for you now, and we will get right to the controls, the display and the storage space. So on the left-hand side, we have the brake lever for the rear disc brake. We have the uh, passing light switch here, conveniently located for your index finger. We have a high beam, low beam switch here. We have the hazard light switch here. We have the, the turn signal switch here. We have all kinds of switches here for the display here, set and mode. We have the switch for the uh, windscreen, for the electric windscreen. I will push it. And you see we have two positions, down and up. And we have the horn here. Beep. On the right hand side, we have the throttle. We have the brake lever for the front disc brake. They are adjustable. As I can see, the left and the right lever uh, are adjustable. We have the an emergency cutoff switch here. We have the switch for the backlit controls here and also serves as a daytime running light switch. So this is daytime running light and everything off. And if you put it to this, we have normal regular low beam and backlit controls. We have the starter switch here. We have fuel seat opener and we have the regular unlocking a button right here. In the middle we have the um, TFT display. I will not get into detail into the menu system. We have different languages and all this stuff which you can select. Unfortunately we don't have any time so I that I can show it to you. Uh, on the screen we have permanently displayed the clock on the left hand side, upper left hand side. We can see uh, the battery voltage. We see the fuel level on the right hand side, we see the temperature, the coolant temperature. Uh, down below we see, or in the middle, we have the speedometer. Underneath we have RPM counter. Underneath we have the data field we can switch around. We have the range, we have the information for the tires like the temperature and the pressure. 
we have the average speed, we have the fuel consumption, you see the odometer and the trip information down below. So when it comes to the storage space, we have two cubby holes in the front, which you can see here. The left one is the biggest. Uh, we have a USB connection in there. About three of my hands will fit in there, so not really that much space. I don't think you can fit a 0.5 liter water bottle in there. It's too small. On the right hand side, it is even smaller. Some Snickers bars or something will actually fit in there, maybe uh, three or four, but that's about it. Not much space there. We also have the under seat storage compartment. In order to open this, we press the seat button here. We open up the seat here. It will hold by itself. And this is what it looks like when it is open. There is enough room for a full face helmet. Mine is a Shark Spartan size M uh, and it fits if you turn it, put it upside down. I will put the photo on the video for you now. And uh, so it is on par with an NMAX, for example, basically the same space and similarly equipped as well. Actually, we also have a light here in the in the storage compartment, which is very nice. We have a courtesy light right there. So this is the Zontis M125 and we'll take it out for a little spin. Let's go. In order to get things started, first we had to push this button here to, to make everything come alive. And uh, then we will just uh, turn it on here. Here we go, I put the screen up. And we will go back to the dealer now. The key we have, it's a keyless go system, so you always have to worry if you have the key or not. <laughs> when we didn't have keyless go, you knew for sure where your key was and that was in the ignition switch. But nowadays we don't know where it is anymore. So the first thing that you notice when you sit on the bike, apparently according to the specs, the seat height is very low, but I don't really, okay, I can almost flat foot it depending on how and where I sit on the seat, but still it's 700, I don't know, 768 millimeters or so. I find these, uh, this dimension or this measurement very, very uh, low or small. And I don't know if that is actually true. I haven't measured it myself, but uh, okay. It is one of the lower seat heights in the industry, I would say for 125 uh, with, a look, with the looks like this, you know compared to the NMAX or something like that, or the XMAX. The other thing is the mirrors, yeah. Everything, I adjusted them. They're pretty tight, everything is nice. You can see everything in the mirror, no problem. They will, of course, you will see yourself in the mirror a little bit as well as usual, but you see everything in the rear. That is no problem whatsoever. In the corners we have a, it is not that stable, I would say. It's very agile. We have 14 inch in the front, 14 inch in the rear, but uh, also meaning agile as in, okay, you know, if you are familiar with a scooter after a while, after a few minutes, you can go through the corners quite nicely. And it is very, very, very easy to handle here. Other than that seating position, is like regular you can sit like on a normal uh in the normal position here you can put your <coughs> feet up to the front a little bit but unfortunately the angle of attack of these uh, two foot uh, pa pedals uh, pedestals or whatever you call them is uh, once again an angle which i don't really like i am 175 and uh, the angle is more it's too too deep too steep and it is uh, reminds me more of the angles from the Forza and the X-Max, which I also do not like. 
so we don't have any real gain at least for my seat uh, for my uh, size when I put them to the front not really and go scooter or not at least Zontes claims so um, as you might be able to hear from the microphone we have very very strong wind turbulence the windscreen is not sufficient unfortunately and it will put the, the wind on the to the top of my helmet but that's not really enough. We also have quite a few uh, turbulences here. I will put the screen down now. Actually, it reduces the uh, turbulences a little bit. <clears throat> of, of course, you get more wind on the helmet, but less turbulences. If I put it up, a lot more turbulences. So it is kind of difficult to decide which is best, which position for higher speeds. Uh, we're going up a steep hill, hill here at the moment. So don't judge the uh, speedometer. I have full power, full throttle here at the moment. Still full throttle. We're still going up the hill. Yeah, it is kind of stable at higher speeds. It is no problem, I would say. Because of uh, the agility, rel relatively small tires. We have very good agility for the city, but we also are quite stable here at higher speeds, so I'm a little bit amazed. I don't really have anything to complain about. The display is easily readable. Okay, we get a little bit sunshine now. It might get a little bit cloudy, of course, when you get direct sunlight on it. But still, I think uh, the big numbers, at least, uh, everything is still vis visible. And uh, we will go through the tunnel. I will show you the backlit controls. And that already concludes our little test right here. As I said, um, in all in all, the verdict is uh, very positive. It's uh, for around about 4,000 euro. A nice little 125 scooter, uh, very well equipped. Unfortunately, it, it does not have traction control, but it has a lot of other little goodies here, like adjustable windscreen and TPMS, for example. Okay, let's switch it to... Uh, you can see if I sw <coughs> switch it to the uh, low, low beam light, we have uh, lights here actually, you know, backlit controls, as you can see. And in the front, you know, of course, the light will change as well from daytime running light to regular low beam. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Everything is electronically uh, adjustable. Like, you know, you can open up the fuel tank, you can open up the seat, everything with a push of a button here. Going down a hill now a little bit. So I would say around around about 110 maximum speed it's very difficult for me to see this here because our roads go up and down every time here but i would guess maybe 110 115 speed maximum according to the uh, speedometer here and that's all i can tell you about the zontes m125 2023 model year Thanks very much for watching. This has been a ride out. Take care. Bye-bye.